when nature unleashed her mighty force on large areas of Pakistan at the end of July. She left 21 million people affected by the worst monsoon floods the country had ever experienced. Now, five months on and counting the money pledged online, these three friends returned from a fundraising road trip earlier this month, taking them from Birmingham to Bangladesh via Pakistan's flood-affected areas. There's a risk of waterborne diseases. Uh, obviously the water has dissipated, but nonetheless it's still there. What we saw was like bridges, networks, road networks just wiped away, people houses wiped away, and just total devastation, people living in tents and stuff like that. Being from Birmingham, which has one of the largest Muslim communities or, and Pakistani communities, in the UK we thought you know there must be something we can do and we need to continue that effort to try and support these people who are really suffering at the moment. And this is why cash is needed. Winter nights in makeshift shelters means a higher risk of death and disease. Zahid Mahmood witnessed the catastrophe. His memories are still vivid. My heart is sad because, you know, in Noshera, which was a very prosperous city, everyone was so happy. The rich people, the millionaire, they have changed into poor people. They have become beggars. They don't have their houses. They have lost their business there. So my heart is very sad. The monsoon rains washed away swathes of livelihoods, and now these people are relying on donations to help them live independently once again. £177 million pounds has been raised so far. Every pound and every penny counts. Satnam Rana, BBC News, Birmingham. Pakistan Thank you.